Now joining us on the couch to celebrate International Youth Day is a select group of South Africa's most popular TikTok stars. We would like to welcome to the loft Jessica, Navan, Chad and Justin. Welcome guys. Thank you. Hey, thank you so much. Daniela, I feel like an old soul here. These bones can't get down like how they used to. But that's why we're leaving it all to you guys. I mean, you guys have done phenomenally. Across the board, I think you all have popped up on my For You page 75 times over. But I want to find out how it all started. I want to start with the ladies. Oh, Jessica okay, and Yvonne, yeah. let's skin her. Your journey on TikTok, Kelly, or Hoti, or Ya Baba, see Ya Kutanda, or Ya Trenda. Where did it all start keep them, for keep you? Keep it coming, keep, keep it coming. I'm giving you all the love, all the love. Yes. <laughs> Um, so my journey, actually, I think I got all of them there. Mine started here when COVID hit. That's yeah. when it was like, yeah, go tricky, go tense, yeah. tough, yeah. Um, so I started uh, my, I opened my account in 2020, October the 21st. And I was just like, I was just, just for fun. And then that's when I just ate McDonald's and I blew up. I mean, that's when you look, when you're a superstar, a superstar. You know, I just ate a meal and people were like, who's this girl? She's blue and yellow. I love She's that. in the ghetto. <laughs> yes, that's the one. We want her. So I just blocked from there. But genuinely started in 2020, like two years ago. I think mine's not it's similar to Jessica's. It was also during lockdown because I had no school. There was nothing to do. We were stuck at home. So my account started, I think, just before the our first 21-day lockdown yeah. we had. So that's when I started. And then mine just started from there. And then it blew up. And then two years later, here. Yeah. You're yeah. still touched <laughs> by Expresso. <laughs> I love it for you, Queen. I love it for you, Queen. OK, let's touch base with the gents. I mean, there's someone here who is a repeat offender. Go after an Express. <laughs> <laughs> La Lena Pute, put Justin. How are you? I'm well, thanks. How are you? It's so lovely to see you again. Boy, have you, from the last time you were here, I think you've like double, tripled, quadrupled your, your numbers. Mm. Since the Zoom call, yes, basically, yeah. I mean, um, it's been a tough one. It's been like really fun actually, like just engaging with so much people, different people on social media and obviously meeting them as well. You feel like you just know each other when you see each other in public. Like when we first met, it was like, I know you. <laughs> South Africa, one thing that you need to know about Chad is that he is not afraid to get all hands on deck when it comes to creating his content. You got your mom, your dad, okay, born and raised in the Eastern Cape. Yeah. Right? Kibeja. You're of Asian descent. Yeah. You sell my piano, you yeah. dance to my piano, mm -hmm. and you even got the family involved. I mean, tell us about yeah. your journey on TikTok. And how do you kind of brainwash your parents to get involved? <laughs> okay, so it literally started like um, the two um, women in front of me. Uh, it was, I think it was the beginning of lockdown. So mine was like end of March, mm. beginning of April. Um, I had no clue what TikTok was. So it was like, mom, dad, no one's going to see. I don't have... <laughs> I don't have any followers. <laughs> but then you know the algorithm, once someone shares, someone likes, um, comments, it just gets pushed out to you. And then next thing you know, you have like half a million people watching you. The power of social media is just extremely vast. There's a good side and there's also a bad side. How do you guys manage? Anyone can take it. <laughs> Like, I can see they're looking at me like, where do I know you from? Mm. And some people make it really awkward. They're like, stay you dead in the eye. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm very shy. So I'm like, <laughs> yeah. I do this and like, I just keep myself busy. So it can be like, <laughs> very like nerve wracking for me because I'm a very shy person. But then also you meet like lovely people that come mm. to you and like, they're so warm. Like sometimes I tell my boyfriend, I, they're recognizing me. Can I just talk about Because like, I get nervous. But it's also, I appreciate it, man. Because mm, yeah. at the end of the day, they play a part in where I am today. I am the opposite of Nivan. If I see that someone notices me, um, and they're shy, because normally others are like confident enough to come to me. Yeah. But if you're shy, I will come to you myself and be like, hi! And then you see like, hi! <laughs> so in Just that way, I just wanted to, want them to see that as much as you see me, I see you as well, like Nivan had said. I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for you. If you hadn't liked that or if you hadn't shared that, I wouldn't be here. So in that way, the, the smallest thing I can do is acknowledge that you're acknowledging me. Mm. So, but in terms of negative, la la la. <laughs> you keep it pushing. You keep it moving, man. Like to. people will always try and like bring you down. And it's, it's so unfortunate how the dynamic works because they will work, they will share your things for you to get there 
and once you get there, they want to crumble you. It's so weird. So the best thing you can do is just keep it moving. Make the best defense is no defense. On that note, we're letting it go. <laughs> I mean, how exciting the digital space can be. Yeah. A new avenue for so many South African youths as we see social media networking continuing to grow day by day. Now, peeps, we have a great cash giveaway. Duet us and win. 500 Rand cash could be yours when you visit our Afternoon Express TikTok page and duet our pinned video. T's and C's do apply and can be found on afternoonexpress.co.za. Make sure you use that hashtag Afternoon Express in all of your comments.